Hello, my name is Steve Webster. I want to talk to you about converting your old editor add-ons over to the new Google Workspace add-ons. So I'm Steve Webster. I'm a GDE with Google. I also own and president of SWGAPS LLC. Uh, again, the purpose of this is for those who have created editor add-ons, how to move over to Google Workspace add-ons. And just a note, currently the Google Workspace add-ons has Gmail, Drive, Calendar, and now Sheets, Docs, and Slides, not Forms yet. And the main definitions takeaway here is editor add-ons leverage HTML and CSS. Google Workspace add-ons use the new card service. One difference with the vertical uh, icon app menu uh, to the left of that, if we use editor add-ons sidebar, it's to the left. It, when we use the GWAOs, uh, it will be to the right of the vertical, and you'll have an icon here. So over here, you have an add-ons menu to invoke this. Over here, you click here. And there's some common questions here. I'll just skip over these because I want to get into the code. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm actually going to create a new project. So the strategy for this session is we're going to basically create a new Google Workspace add-on. And I encourage you to definitely read the overview and best practices. Really consume this before you start. Then we're going to actually copy code from the editor add-on to a brand new blank app script a set of code. We're going to copy it all over everything. And then once we copy it over into the new one, the new uh, App Script Editor instance, we want to identify all the HTML and CSS, which I'll uh, demonstrate here in a moment. And to do the side-by-side -side -side comparison as you go, you want to unpublish the add-on. You want to stall it this way, OK? And then you can uh, compare. One note here. Without the absence or with the absence of HTML, it really feels like you're all working on the server side, which is much better. Um, the manifest will contain some card related items. And one thing to highlight do you remember in the editor add on, you have like this function on install, then invokes on open? That is going, that's going to be replaced with manifest, where you're going to have the actual function to be invoked from there. And then this is some. Uh, publish information. Let's get into the code. Let's get out of here. So here is a remove blank rows uh, editor add-on that I want to convert over. So as you, can, as you can tell, it's to the left of these vertical icon apps. So let's take a look to the finished product. So here, instead of invoking from the add-ons menu here, we're going to have a special icon here. And to the right, it's now going to display the new uh, user interface. So this is what it's going to look like. So to just demo this finished product, you can click highlight the entire sheet if you wish. You can take the defaults, click delete. A spinner via the card service is available. It does its thing. And then you have a notification down here. And I did put a note in here, if you're not happy with the results, you can use file re version history or just click undo, or in this case, I'm using a Chromebook. I do control Z a few times back to where I was. Uh, but let's also demonstrate if I have a blank sheet and I try to run this, watch the behavior of handling exceptions. If I click delete, it will spin open up a new card, and I'll display um, correction to the user what to do. The sheet is empty. Select the sheet with data. And then you have this nice back arrow experience. All that is handled by the card interface. Another highlight before we go into the code, uh, this vertical menu by default has refresh and manage add-on. I've added watch how-to video, which should pop up over here. So that's a nice experience. It's just opening up a web page or a YouTube channel in this case, or YouTube video. Crop rows and columns. Uh, I had a 
in the old method, add-ons, uh, remove blank rows, and I had some options here to kind of like one click get things done. So I, I replaced it by having that um, uh, feature here for these two things there. All right, so let's go into the code. Let's go back to the old editor add-on. So this is the secret code to remove blank rows uh, from five plus years ago. So uh, typically you, you have like a server-side experience where you have the uninstall and unopen, and then you have a spreadsheet get UI. Further down, you have HTML service, which can then call other files like this client side HTML, where you actually have the HTML. So there's a lot of lines of code here, right? Lots of lines of code that will also have like an include statement to call another uh, client side type of thing, which is JavaScript. You know, when things are ready, go ahead and set things up. And you've got thousands of lines of code perhaps over here, right? Well, the good news is as we hop on over to the uh, mo the new Google Workspace add-ons, uh, it's going to look much different and it's going to be simpler. So that's good news. So in the manifest file, which is represented here as the app script.json file, uh, I'm trying to keep this simple for this demonstration and it actually gets the job done. Uh, notice this, notice the common. Common as in, let's say you want one source code that will work with sheets, docs, slides as well. What's common among them can be put here and then what's more specific can be put here. So in this case, we're replacing the uninstall and unopen with this run function here. So if we come back over to the code, it's, it's right here actually. Okay, so um, to build the cards as you're using it, you're going to start getting used to it. You're going to understand more. The documentation is very good. So as you recall from looking at the demo that I just did, we have a customized um, three-dot uh, menu there where it drops down. You can watch a video. You can do one-click actions where it calls this server-side function to get it done. Same thing here with trimming. And if you want your card to have any fixed footers, you can do that. In this case, I have like latest news, which will pop up a website over the spreadsheet. If you want support, it doesn't pop up overlay. It actually goes full size, opening up a new window tab. And this action means, do you want to do anything with the right side bar add-on? Do, do you want to close or anything? In this case, I'm saying leave it alone. So now we get into building the rest of the card. So we can have a header. Uh, collapsible, I've been playing around with set collapsible, which means uh, you can list how many widgets below here you want to, to um, see. For example, if I change the five to a two, it would display these two, but it would have a down arrow and hide these. And then once the user clicks the down arrow, these will appear. So I've been playing with that, but for now I'm showing all five widgets below here. So let's get into the widgets. You can decorate the text if you like. Uh, if you recall, I have select, range, or click, and to the right of that, it says entire sheet, right? And then I'm telling it to run this server side function here that will activate the spreadsheet. And then this is uh, nice that this add on actually has some a radial buttons and checkboxes. So it's nice to have this in this demonstration, isn't it? So again, from user experience, they have to choose one of these only. So I'm calling this field name blank or any. The set field name is also used in checkboxes, and here I'm calling it match options. And so again, the user can select all these if they wish. Down here, I want to delay, or excuse me, uh, display the delete button and the hide button next to each other. And when those buttons are clicked, um, it runs this function. So let's slow down here just for a moment. I'm replacing Java's, client JavaScript stuff with this on click. I'm telling it to run this function. And while we're at it, a one line show me a spinner. It takes care of thousands of lines of code potentially. Same thing here with the hide button experience. And then at the bottom, I decided to add another widget to say, hey, if you're if you not like what you just did, you can undo it, as you recall. Now, this is another section that I am using the collapsible to zero, where I'm just showing some basic information. And then they will have to click the down arrow. So let's go back over there for a moment. 
see this right here, then it displays it. That's what that does. I'm going to build a couple other things like that. There's a function call that helps out with the, uh, uh, in this case, a, a YouTube pop-up video. Now, error card. Uh, it is recommended in best practices to have an error, another card to display your errors. So this is a demonstration of that. So what you do is you build the card first. You want to pass in parameters because the error card may have different content. Uh, depending on the error, what is the user action, right? So that's what that is for. So you want to keep in that new card a footer, keep it consistent. And then the section is pretty straightforward. Um, I want to just have a paragraph experience and pass in whatever the text message or the, not the text message, but the content that I want. So here, if they click the delete button, we want to run something. So I wanted to highlight something. When you are using radio buttons, you have form input without the letter S, singular. They have to choose one. If they're using checkboxes, it's plural. Form inputs, they, have to you can, they can choose many. The host app and sheets to recall, we go back over to the manifest. This is where that comes into play. And then you can do certain things like building action responses, uh, here, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to evaluate what did they choose from the radio buttons, what did they choose from the check boxes, and so forth, and then I can run things. Now, after they run the serve-side code that uh, has not been touched here, because we're just changing the HTML, CSS, uh, it's going to come back with content. And this is where I'm, I'm making that little transition from the client JavaScript to say, okay, uh, just go ahead and, and uh, check the the, uh, the callback from that. Has there been any error messages? Uh, if there is any messages, then it's like, okay, this is the time to replace the card with the error card and pass that warning message over. And if you recall, we built that just above. And to make that happen, you have to add in these few lines here. Okay? So then I do the same thing with the hide. Uh, function here. It's very similar, but behaves differently. Here's the uh, error handler that's common, depending on what the error message may be coming back from the hide or delete in this case. And that little black notification toast pop-up type of thing, that is handled here with a, a notify helper function here. And then that's it. So thousands of lines of code were, were replaced by almost 350 lines. Not too bad. So that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you very much. If you need assistance, reach out to swgapps.com. Thank you.